Hey everyone, welcome to the ITLS Academy. So basically today we are going to purify the creoid enzyme. But before purifying, in the last previous videos, we look at how we produce enzyme. For that we required mannitol fermentation growth and our nutrient growth and like how we mix them together 95 ml of mannitol fermentation growth and 5 ml of nutrient growth and we kept it for incubation at least for one week for the enzyme production. So here it is the result after one week of the prediction after one week of incubation and we incubate it uh, in the uh, <clears throat> so basically what we are going to do today uh, with the help of this micro pipette we need to uh, put uh, we need to first of all set 1000 microliter so here I set 1000 microliter now what I am going to do I am just taking it out and need to pour it into Appendorf. So here I am just pouring 1, 1 ml of this enzyme in each of the Appendorf to get the purified crude enzyme. Hopefully you know that enzymes are proteinaceous in nature and in a biology basically they are used as a biological catalyst and do you know what is the function of catalyst? Basically catalyst enhance the rate of chemical reaction by millions of time. It can be used to speed up the any of chemical reaction. But the most amazing uh, fact about enzyme is that, uh, like uh, about catalyst is that they cannot be used in the chemical reaction. The amount which we used, the same amount come after increasing the rate of chemical reaction. So they are having no impact on the chemical reaction. They can generally enhance the rate. So here, um, after pouring 1, 1 ml of uh, uh, this enzyme in each of the app and drop, now I am going to centrifuge it uh, for 15 minutes at 6000 rpm. So here I am first of all putting the app and drop in the centrifuge. We need to balance it. So here I am covering it and as you can see here, uh, just give me a second. Now you can see time is 15 minutes and six to, uh, this is 6000 rpm basically. Now I am going to start it. So we will see the result after 15 minutes. After 15 minutes of centrifugation, now I'm going to taking it out from the centrifuge. So here you can see there is some pellets of whitish in color. I'm just taking it out first of all. So now 
I'm just taking out supernatant from uh, this ependroth and this supernatant act as a crude enzyme and this is the purified crude enzyme okay and transfer it into the another fresh ependroth So now this uh, crude enzyme is stored at 4 degrees centigrade for further use. Hope you understand this that how we can purify the crude enzyme after enzyme production. Thank you.